Welcome back to TMZ Live. Andy Kaufman is alive, is what his <laughs> alleged daughter wants you to believe. I'm telling you, you, you may think we're crazy here. Little, we should back it up. Just a little bit of a refresher. Andy Kaufman uh, allegedly died in 1984. Huge comedian. Huge comedian. Uh, was Taxi? A huge star in Taxi. Uh, Stand-up. Uh, Stand-up comic. Legendary comic. Huge comic, um, as big as Seinfeld in, in in his day. Yes, exactly. Tw twenty four years ago, he 29, dies. Twenty nine, twenty nine years. Was ago. it twenty nine years ago? Twenty nine. He years supposedly ago. dies, and everybody thinking, but there's a, there, it was all shrouded in mystery because Andy Kaufman had famously talked about faking his death, and there were things about Just to get out of the spotlight and to get out of the spotlight. And there were things that that that, that came up. Now explain the the event. So now cut to uh, the Andy Kaufman Awards. Uh, it was in New York City at uh, what was it the Gotham Gotham Comedy Club? Right. And uh, Andy's brother is on stage uh, talking about Andy and then suddenly this woman walks up on stage and claims that she is Andy's 23-year-old daughter. And she says this. What's he doing now? Well, he, he just wanted to be a stay-at-home dad, you know, because that's why he wanted to leave the showbiz and whatever. And so he's just pretty much a great dad and raised us. And my mom has her own business and stuff like that. And then he helps her with that kind of thing, paperwork and stuff, so he can work from home. And he doesn't have to be, high, you know, concealing himself. But he just makes us food and takes care of the house and stuff. She so, walks on stage and says, "My father is alive, and he wants to. He wants the world to know this." But and, and she actually said that he was thinking about showing up there that night to reveal to the world that he is alive. But he backed out at the last second. She said, so, "I'm a believer. I'm a believer. So, <laughs> I reckon it's. I reckon he's alive and well." Now, because as as Harvey said, because Andy Kaufman spoke so often about possibly faking his death. Uh, it's been long rumored, and so but as soon as this woman steps up and says this... And, and she, look, she may be a nutcase, but there are other things. For example, there is an, uh, an internet engine where you can see, you can check people who have died, and there is no cause of death or death listed for Andy Kaufman, whereas you look at any other person like Elvis or whoever, and it's all listed cause of death and death. And it's not listed for... There's there's also, on, there's also on the search this. engine... There are addresses that pop up. Yeah, it actually has uh, where he was listed in, in Hollywood uh, during the time of his death, and then it disappears for a little while, and then years later it pops up in Illinois, Chicago, Illinois, that he had registered to live there, and then a, a few months later moved to New York City, and since then he's been in New York. But the addresses are fake numbers, but real streets. So hmm. the question, you know, look, his whole funeral was kind of weird. There was no autopsy ever. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying he's alive. By the way, the woman in, who was on stage kind of looks... I mean, you got to say she has features that you could say she, that Andy Coffin uh, is her father. But a bizarre story that he's just living at home as a stay-at-home dad. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Kelly, and I was a finalist at the Andy Kaufman Awards, and I was there for oh, uh, so the you, reveal. You were at the event? Yes. Okay. I was at the event. Spill it. I got, you know, I mean, I actually, I'm still reeling and I still feel like I'm, I'm in that moment because it's still so surreal for, for me. I mean, for us, for the people that were there and witnessed it and it was such a, a intimate moment, um, you see it on the internet and it's, it doesn't have the same effect or feeling. Uh, when you were in that room, it was electric, quiet. You could hear a pin drop. Everybody was in shock, you know, I mean, it was shocking. I actually cried, uh, I actually cried. Hey, so Kelly, Kelly, you it's Charlie. So you believe this? Uh, yeah. You clearly, did, did was, everyone in the room seem to believe her that Andy is alive? Well, out of, I mean, there was a lot of respect going on, I mean, for this woman to come up. I mean, you know, it had, it was a progress, uh, you know, progressed from him uh, reading this letter um, and then that they had had a conversation the month before. So they had sort of met on the phone. Um, so he knew about her and then her popping up. Now I had seen her in the back of the Gotham Comedy Club. She was sitting alone. She's wearing like just a coat and kind of like real, real subtle in the back, you know, but I, I was performing, you know, Kelly, I was I, I, are you, it's Charlie here. Are you, are you a believer in all of this or do you still think it's a hoax? You know, I, I think I believe and I may be a sucker, but honestly, in this day and age, if you can't have some magic left, you know, if you can't have some question, immortality is... 
Look, and reality I mean, is it, like, I don't know. How do you know? It, okay. okay, it would just be the greatest prank of all time. Go back to the picture. If you were able go, to, go back to that picture. To the woman? Or? Yeah, no, 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 to the, to the split screen. From what, screen. from what, um, they from what look, he's yeah. they, they look. Yeah, there is a similarity in that look. From what his supposed face. daughter said uh, on stage, I am of the belief that he's going to make some grand return on the 30th anniversary of his death. Mark my words, 30th well, anniversary. I'm not prepared to say he's alive, but I'm prepared to say there are some questions on this 50th anniversary of JFK's assassination, <laughs> where there are a lot of conspiracy <laughs> theories that I think is maybe he alive too? there might be something <laughs> to this. Hi, this is Sarah from the Bronx. Um, hi, Harvey, and hi, Charles. Hi, Sarah. I believe that you gotta let Har you gotta let um, Andy Kaufman alone. If he's alive, let him live in peace, and if he's dead, let him rest in peace. It's like it's if he wanted to leave, there was a purpose for it, so you let it go. How does, well, except how, that, how, except how does that he Sarah, he, has, he sent his if you believe this woman, sent his he daughter, sent daughter as his emissary to say yes, he's about to make a return alive, according to her. And he's gonna come back, and uh, I mean, okay. So clearly, he doesn't. If he is alive. He doesn't want to the, stay. The, da the daughter know. said that um, Andy was thinking about coming to the event as well. He was considering coming, but he yeah, pulled out last said. minute. Yeah. Okay, we're going to move on.